Have you ever found yourself in a place of desperation, seeking refuge and guidance? This human experience is beautifully captured in Psalm 61, a heartfelt prayer to God for help and protection. The psalm begins with a plea, Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. This initial verse sets the tone of the entire psalm, expressing the psalmist's deep longing for divine intervention. It's a call to God to listen, to pay attention to the prayer being offered. The psalmist continues, From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Here the psalmist acknowledges their own limitations and seeks a power greater than themselves. The rock that is higher than I symbolizes a place of safety and stability that is beyond the reach of human troubles. The next verse is, For thou hast been a shelter for me, and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings. These affirm the psalmist's faith in God as a protector. The strong tower and shelter metaphors depict God as a refuge, a place of safety against enemies. In the following lines, For thou, O God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. The psalmist acknowledges the faithfulness of God in hearing prayers and bestowing blessings on those who revere him. The psalm concludes with a promise from the psalmist, So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. This is a vow of continuous worship and faithfulness, a commitment to honor God through praise and fulfill their vows daily. In summary, Psalm 61 explores themes of desperation, divine intervention, refuge, and commitment. It beautifully encapsulates the human condition of seeking help when overwhelmed, finding solace in a higher power, and maintaining an unwavering faith in the face of adversity. It's a timeless message of hope and faith that continues to resonate with us today.